So all these uh, objectives uh, had been seen in this chapter. Uh, the color uh, spaces, uh, the color class, uh, the paint, uh, the stroke types, uh, the affine transformations, uh, the object and viewing transformation, uh, combination between basic transformation to form more complex transformation, in addition to compositing rules, clipping paths, fonts, and uh, at last, uh, gleam, ligature, and... Okay, in this uh, question, we are asked to construct an affine transform object for a general reflection about a line through the origin. Uh, to answer this question, uh, we should know how to uh, create an object of the class affine transform and then to uh, enter the uh, needed parameters to this uh, object. Uh, first, we uh, should uh, know the reflection matrix from the uh, from chapter three, uh, and then we should enter the parameters of the reflection to the affine transform uh, object. Uh, so the parameter we we need the first two rows of the reflection matrix, and then try to enter them column by column. So the first column of the affine uh, of the affine transform uh, taken from the reflection uh, matrix is uh, two over one plus k squared minus one uh, and two k over one plus k squared. For the second column, which is two k over one plus k squared. 2k squared over 1 plus k squared minus 1 and for the third column which uh, which is 0 and 0 find the uh, transformation matrix for the reflection about uh, line y equal to x here we want the matrix of uh, of reflection and then we should uh, substitute uh, k by 2 uh, then if we try to substitute uh, k by 2 in the matrix of uh, reflection, then uh, we, we, we uh, can uh, get this uh, matrix. In question 3, is it possible to uh, transform an ellipse to circle using a fine transformation or a rigid transformation? First, uh, to transform an ellipse to a, a circle, then we uh, should uh, change the angles. Uh, using rigid transformation, we can't change the angle. Then we cannot do it using rigid transformation, but we can do it using affine transformation. Is it possible to transform a trapezoid to square using affine transformation and rigid transformation? Since also here we are uh, changing the angles and the length of the sides, then we can not use a rigid transformation to transform a trapezoid to a square. Uh, uh, however, using affine transformation, we can uh, we can uh, do this. Uh, which is transforming the trapezoid into a square. Find the transformation uh, matrix for a composition of a, a rotation of pi by 3 about the origin and a reflection about the line y equal to x. Then we should make a rotation by pi by 3, which is a 60 degree angle, and a reflection about the line y equal to x. To make a, a rotation about a, uh, about an angle of an object about an angle of pi by three, we should use the matrix of rotation and then substitute the cosine uh, pi by three, uh, which is uh, one over two, and the sine uh, pi by three, which is radical three over two, and then we will use also the reflection matrix uh, for k equal and uh, substitute k by two. Then uh, we should uh, multiply the uh, rotation matrix by the uh, reflection matrix to uh, get the uh, composition of the uh, two uh, of the two transformations. First, this is the uh, uh, this is the matrix of rotation. As I said before, if we want to substitute the uh, the cosine theta and the sine theta by its value. And then 
this is the uh, reflection matrix uh, by substituting k by uh, 2 and then we should multiply the two matrices to multiply the two matrices we should take each row from the first matrix and multiply it by each column of the second matrix and then make addition of the multiplied term which means 1 over 2 multiplied by minus 3 over 5 plus res radical 3 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 5 plus 0 over 0 we get this uh, value Say, uh, same for the uh, second uh, element in the first row which is multiplying 1 over 2 by 4 over 5 uh, plus radical 3 over 2 by 3 over 5 and 0 by 0 this is the value of the second term and for the first uh, term or a third term in the first row also we'll multiply 1 over 2 by 0 and radical 3 over 2 by 0 and 0 by 1 to uh, 2 uh, to uh, calculate the uh, third element which is 0 uh, the same is applied for the second row also multiplied by the first column and the second and the third column in the uh, next mat and the second matrix and also for the third row uh, now we want to find the transformation of a matrix for the reflection about the line y equal to x minus 1 to uh, as we uh, see before the we have the reflection also about a line passing through the origin which uh, means the line of an equation y equal kx here uh, the problem is that we have uh, minus 1 so uh, we will try to uh, to, uh, to make transformation so that uh, we can uh, then uh, have a general form of y equal uh, to x to make a transformation and to change the equation of a line passing through the origin then we should make a translation of uh, along y by 1 which means that we will take minus 1 to the other side and uh, then we will have y plus 1 equal to x y plus 1 means uh, a translation uh, along the uh, y axis by 1 and along x axis by 0 this is the matrix for a translation uh, along x axis by 0 which mean a equal 0 and y axis by 1 which mean y equal 1 this is the matrix for translation and then uh, we should calculate the matrix for reflection to calculate the matrix of uh, reflection uh, then uh, we will put the instead of k k equal two and then we will we will make multiplication of the two matrices as we see before to calculate the uh, in uh, this example uh, we want to calculate the alpha the, the alpha value and the color value of uh, at a, a certain uh, given a certain rule so if the rgb and alpha values of a source pixels are 0 0.5 0 0.0 0 0.8 and 0 0.4 uh, respectively uh, and the values for the uh, destination pixel are 0 0.2, 0 1.0, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6 res respectively. Find the RGB and alpha value of composite using source over rule and destination out. First, as we uh, read here, RGB and alpha value. Then 0 0.5 is for the red, uh, 0, 0 0.0 for the green, and 0 0.8 for the blue and the uh, alpha value is 0 0.4 these are for the source pixel for the destination 0 0.2 uh, is the red uh, 1.0 is the green and 0 0.5 is the blue and the alpha value is 0 0.6 so we want to find the equivalent RGB and alpha value for the two cases first we will uh, work on uh, source uh, over for the uh, source over uh, we have the general formula alpha c equal fs alpha scs plus fd alpha d cd uh, for the source over we can uh, see that fs 
uh, should be 1 and FD should be 1 minus alpha S alpha uh, FS uh, should be 1 we substitute instead of it 1 and instead of FD 1 minus alpha S uh, alpha S 0 0.4 then we put here 0 0.4 times RGB of 0 0.5 times 0 0.008 and also if we continue for 1 minus 0 0.4 alpha S times 0 0.6 for alpha D RGB of 0 0.2 uh, 1 uh, 0 0.5 then we multiply 0 0.4 by each of the following coefficients and 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 which is 0 0.36 multiplied only also by each component here and then we try to add the uh, co same colors which each other to get this equivalent uh, color then if we want to calculate for alpha for the source over we substitute fs with 0 0.5 for sorry and fd for with 1 minus 0 0.4 and we calculate the alpha uh, equivalence which is 0 0.76 for the destination out uh, we can also calculate the uh, fs which is uh, should be 0 and FD should be 1 minus alpha S and we apply the same uh, calculation to obtain uh, uh, al alpha color and the alpha uh, value in this question if the destination color has an alpha value 1.0 which compositing rule will not be affected by the source then in this question the, al the destination alpha value is 1 uh, we are asked which compositing rule will not be affected by the source color the rule what, which are destination DST over DST out DST at all and XOR will always ignore the source since the destination alpha is 1 one way to show more effect is to draw on an off-screen image with an alpha channel. In this problem, uh, we are asked to apply an affine transform to a rectangle 2D object to create a shape of square centered at the origin and uh, rotated by 45 uh, degrees. Then, uh, as we can see in this uh, question, first we should uh, create an object of a uh, rectangle to create a square centered at the origin. Uh, the dimension of the square we can choose it as uh, we uh, like, and then we should uh, rotate the, uh, the square by 45 degrees, and at last we should display the shape. Here is the paint component uh, method for uh, the above question. Uh, first, uh, we calculate the, uh, we use the method get width and get length that get the uh, dimensions of the container. Uh, and after that, we calculate uh, a float R, which is the uh, minimum. Uh, of uh, W and H divided by 2 we choose this uh, that we will see that we will choose this dimension only to uh, take a square of uh, of uh, defined uh, of a uh, defined uh, dimensions uh, appropriate to the uh, to the container that contain it so we create an affine transform object called TX and we apply a rotation to TX and also a scale by RR as we will see here we create a, a rectangle uh, of uh, dimension 1 1 so when multiplied by RR the dimension of the rectangle will be RR and uh, the, sun, the upper corner is minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 since the origin should be the uh, 
uh, center uh, it's not uh, necessary to choose the same dimension we can choose any dimension of the square uh, but we uh, should uh, uh, see that the origin of the uh, the, uh, the origin uh, is the center of the square then we apply the transformation tx on the uh, rectangle by using the create transform shape then we have the uh, new shape and after that we translate uh, the uh, uh, the uh, shape into uh, to uh, width over w over 2 uh, h over 2 since uh, the uh, after we rot rotate and we draw the uh, square some of the uh, uh, not all the square are shown in the uh, in the container since uh, some of the the, the coordinates are in the negative parts so we make this translate to see all uh, the square and then we uh, draw the shape which is the square the result will be as we can see here now we uh, th in this problem we want to write a java program that uh, performs scaling of factor 3 uh, along the uh, line y equal uh, x and then we should uh, draw the original square of size 100 centered at 0 0 and then apply the scaling to the square of size 100 uh, centered at uh, 0 uh, Zero. In this example, uh, you are asked to use the following shape uh, in this uh, figure as a clip pass to draw a string uh, Java 2D with large bone. To construct a shape, we should first uh, create an, uh, uh, a rectangle and uh, a rectangle which is a square here, the same length and width, and also we should create an ellipse uh, which is a circle and then try to uh, subtract these two shapes to uh, to uh, to have the this uh, shape we will use the constructed area uh, geometry so uh, the solution of this exercise uh, first we take the uh, the width of the uh, of the graphics and the height of the graphics and then uh, we take an integer r which is the minimum of the width and the height and then we create a, a area uh, of uh, of a new rectangle of rr and by default uh, we'll took uh, one uh, one for the width and the uh, length then uh, we try to uh, subtract uh, the uh, the area which is a rectangle from an ellipse of defined uh, of defined arguments then we create an affine uh, transform uh, which will be the uh, translation uh, to uh, take the clip path uh, to the center and after that we will set the clip path by this transformation uh, the coordinates are not very uh, important uh, we, we should not apply them as uh, it is we can uh, use the uh, the coordinates uh, uh, as we like uh, because there is no restriction about using the uh, coordinates of the object and the translation and then we use the font which is font.bold uh, and then we try to draw the string uh, at a specified point also this point is not important to calculate it but as we can see here, the clip pass is at uh, the uh, center of the world. Uh, so the 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 the, the only the uh, the drawing which is uh, within the shape is uh, is shown in the output.